Have you got a barrow I can borrow? I would like to write your name. On the palm of my hand, on the wall of the hall, the roof of the house all across the land. So when the sun comes up tomorrow, it'll look to the side of this hard-bitten planet like a big yellow button with your name written on it. Have you got a biro I can borrow? I would like to write some lines. In the praise of your knee and the back of your neck and the double-decker bus that brings you to me. So when the sun comes up tomorrow, it'll shine on a world made richer by a sonnet and half a dozen epics as long as the Aeneid. Oh, give me a pen and some paper. Give me a chisel or a camera, a piano and a box of rubber bands. I need room for choreography and a dark room for photography. Tie the brush into our hands. Have you got a biro I can borrow? I would like to write your name. From the belt of Orion to the share of the plough, the snout of the bear to the belly of the lion. So when the sun goes down tomorrow, there'll never be a minute, not a moment of the night, that hasn't got you in it. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to you all, friends and family, as we gather to celebrate Jess and Lauren's marriage. Jess and Lauren will both tell you that something they value deeply is the support they receive from each other. Over their time together, they have both faced challenges from personal difficulties to work problems, through job changes to house moves. They've been there for each other every step of the way and use the hard times to grow stronger, both as individuals and as partners. They have been brought even closer by playing together at VBS Point and Band, where they met many, many of their closest friends who are here to share their wedding day. Although apparently Lauren was initially cross with Jess for dropping her in it by telling the band that she played percussion, it seems she has now forgiven her. Together, they've tackled rehearsals, concerts, solos and contests and love the fun and friendship that they take from their shared passion. Their commitment to it is inarguable. They've showed up to band practice after spending 14 hours moving house and driven straight to a rehearsal after 10 hours in the car travelling back from Cornwall. This is mirrored today by them publicly announcing their inarguable commitment to each other. Lauren and Jess's marriage doesn't mark the beginning of their new relationship. It is the acknowledgement of a relationship which has been growing and flourishing since they met and they have now chosen to join their lives together. In today's ceremony, Jess and Lauren will dedicate themselves to the happiness and well-being of each other in their new life as a married couple. It is now my joyful responsibility to acknowledge your union. You may now seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> when I was growing up that I would ever marry a woman. It wasn't really on the cards, I didn't really expect it. But then um, Jess turned up, didn't you? Yes, yes, yeah, I did. <laughs> 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 was. And honestly, falling in love with Jess was absolutely the happiest surprise that could ever have happened to me. Thank you. <laughs> To be honest, at school, when all my friends were fawning all over the celebrity guys, I was like, pfft, that. Turns out I was a lesbian instead. <laughs> yes! She is the instigator of our adventures, the master of all things fun. There's just something about the sparkle in her eye that means she's plotting something mischievous, but I quite like it. 
There are too many reasons for me to write down and also I really don't like speaking so I'm not going to go into them all now but that you know why I am literally the luckiest person on the planet that I've managed to tie this woman down. Can you all please raise a glass to the woman that I cannot finally believe I get to call my wife? To Jessica. <laughs> I couldn't not take the opportunity to say thank you to my new wife. <laughs> Lauren, you are absolutely my person and I totally, totally adore you. Thank you so much for everything that you have, well, been allowed to do for today. <laughs> but thank you for being by my side throughout all of it and never saying no to anything, except for the really stupid ideas. <laughs> We have so much fun together, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life being stupid with you. <laughs> I love you. I remember vividly the very first time I saw Lauren. We would, we'd just finished the concert at Buzzers Band Club, and as we came off stage, I remember walking to the back of the room, towards the changing rooms, and seeing this absolutely stunning girl stood at the back of the room, desperately trying to blend into the wallpaper and disappear. <laughs> and it's been an absolute joy to see the transformation of that shy, retiring young lady into the outgoing, vibrant party animal that we know today. Yeah. Indeed. And yes, yes. You are, you are the best person I know. I honestly don't know how I would have made it through the last 12 months without the support and guidance that you've given me. Despite having all of this to organise single-handedly. <laughs> You're always there for your friends. And earlier this year, when I really needed you the most, you were there for me. I would like to thank Jess and Lauren for giving me the absolute honour of performing this role on the biggest day of your lives, and I just hope I've not let you down and made you regret that decision. <laughs> Having to sit there for the last few months and think of amazing things to say about you has been such a pleasure, and has made this job the easiest in the world, because you two are the best people I know, and I love you dearly. <laughs> Please raise your glasses as I propose a toast to my very best friends, Mrs. and Mrs. Tridray. Yeah.